I didn't really want to make a video on this game, but here we are, Project Transit by Blaze the Dragon. I, I sure hope this game has not got leaked models in it. No, no, no. Uh, See, so yeah, I've, I've basically started doing more content where we just play normal, casual Roblox railway games rather than just doing professional SCR presentation-like content. But I'm just gonna see why has it got the amount of plays that it does? Like, like is it is it worthy of it or and and is it really any good? So yeah, let's just press play. And we spawn in a station, which doesn't look all that bad. Like at, at the quality, uh, it, it, there are a bunch of different styles at once but it is all right details wise i mean these benches don't align well with the interior of this so i think this is um i, th I think these could be free models same with these market stalls Th there's not much consistency even even if it even if these were handmade by the developers it's not the most consistent but you know, these are a bit too big. These are the biggest ticket barriers of my life. <laughs> yeah, these are quite obviously either free or leaked models. These are I, I've seen these benches in like every single. See, I, I I I give credit where credit is due in terms of how they executed it. But yeah, I'm ninety nine percent sure this is um leaked but anyway we, we've got a bunch of trains to pick from and they have um credited the developers but is that island is island line fishbowl who i think is it is oh my goodness this hit oh i feel so sorry for fixball now it is it, it, it literally just his and weed's models and apparently blaze made that one um <laughs> That is a weird M5000. I mean, I don't, I don't really think, um... I, I wouldn't really be doing business with this guy, but, you know. Uh, let's just spawn in the one fire. It, it's okay, there's no route selection. And what on earth? Why does it just go to void? Um, obviously this is models by Figsball, so it isn't really the developer's work. Really, Blaze just went on to Figsball's marketplace and just... The driving system is the exact same as WCR, which, as I have said before... Oh my goodness, that is loud. But as I said before, the driving system is incredibly flawed. Because you have to press and hold to accelerate and de-accelerate, it's not good. And they don't have animated doors, but th there's an interior, at least. At least they're not paper trains, but yeah, this station... What station is this? Kelton Interchange. Isn't the best looking. D do we have a map that we can look at? Overview? Nope. Oh my goodness, that is... Yeah, the engine sounds not very realistic. Like, whenever you press W, it just, yeah. Why have we just gone so fast? Yeah, this driving system's very weird. And why are the trees like that? I'm turning... I have this on the lowest volume and it's really, really loud. Hey, at least they gave them the actual speed limits. At least this doesn't go 100 miles an hour. No, no, look, here's a station. It, it's very loud. I don't I don't like how loud it is. But yeah, these Oh, that level crossing. Yeah. It's like playing a game of spot the leaked model. Those shops are clearly from SCR. I mean, they probably made the tracks. The level crossing is definitely a free model. I've seen that so many times. I mean, it's it's not bad using free models because like they're there to be used. Like, don't make 
free models your main source of assets, or like, don't make them substantial. That is a weird balcony. This scenery is also very bland. Like, there isn't much going on at all. It isn't very British or English as as the game title suggests. And the terrain isn't really very good. Like, why is it all orange? And how do I even gain, like, points? You earn points by driving trains to the end of routes with these points. So there isn't even a route system. Or anything. You just drive trains directly into a station and then it gives you points. Like, at least with, like, other games, they either don't have a point system or they have a point system that works with routes. Oh my goodness, what even is this? It's literally just two platforms and a footbridge. And as you can see, look at this wonderful example of deacceleration. And we can even reverse. So if I ever overshoot in this game, I can just reverse it. Oh look, perfect stop, yay. But yeah, there, there isn't really much. There's nothing interesting. I, d I don't see why this game has so many visit. Oh, so down to 75. I'm not speeding. Why did it go red when I was at 75? Oh, my train does not stop at the station, apparently. I think they had an announcement there, which... Yeah, that's cool, I guess. It's not really revolutionary. Those freight wagons, definitely. Comparing the rest of the, um... The map and the other assets, those freight wagons probably were stolen somehow. And now we've got a tunnel, and there's a station here. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna bring a 158 into an underground station. Realism 100. You know, like, whilst this train is idling in an indoor station, we're just gonna give passengers, you know, health issues. And I mean, other games allow you to drive trains but uh, like diesel trains into here but at least they don't show the particles so at least there's no visual evidence <laughs> but yeah um let's just ignore the fact that oh my goodness the camera's broken um yeah let's just ignore the fact that there is some inaccuracy but i mean other railway games have that inaccuracy so i i don't, I don't think it's fair to judge them because of that also, this does not feel like 75 miles an hour. Oh, you can just go through red signals anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just go through red signals, guys, since we're able to. Oh no, I spatted. I gained some points, so I think this is a terminus. And what a terminus this is. Like, why, why is it for ballast just on both sides and... What is that design? This is a peculiar station. You know, it's concourse is just a corridor. A corridor with ticket machines and a map. And apparently... They, oh yeah, this is very, very, very accurate. Let's just go at full speed. You know, there's, there's, no, there's, there's no, like, um... AWS or DRS or any form of train protection. I mean, there is the AWS alarm, but that's basically it. TPWS, though. None of that. Or DRS. I mean, I haven't even seen a single Roblox railway game with DRS, but I mean, yeah. We can just speed through stations, so yeah. Um... I think I've basically seen everything regarding this train, th this game, really. Oh wait, we've got a free class 153, so don't mind if I... I mean, yeah, this isn't their model, but... The camera system's... Confusing, and... Well, I need some help, yeah, let's see, help. Point cut... 300, <laughs> you get points for free. Oh, we're, we're going for a station. Oh, well, we skipped it. 
But yeah, overall, that is Project Transit. I'm now going to go to my favourite station, which is Wilton Leap. I mean, nobody calls a station. You don't open sliding doors, they're automatic. And Yeah, this is scaled really weird. Either, either I'm really small, or these are really big. What? Why did I just hear... I just hear something demonic. Uh, but yeah, that is Project Transit, guys. Um, game review, not that high. Leaked models everywhere, free models, and... Yeah, that's what I think of the game. Um, I don't know why they put that into the game. That... what? But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. So, goodbye.